All right, what's going on, people? Welcome back to this new show that we're doing, uh, Comic Book Weekly, here on our Indie Rundown YouTube channel. Uh, this is a venture that I created a few weeks ago, and I finally put it to the test last week with my first guest, Anthony Hernandez, and I think it turned out pretty well, um, and I hope this is a show that I can make. It, it can grow and get some legs and fans and traction, and this could be something that can live on for a long time, because with so many comics, there's so much source material to cherry pick from, so... It's been a lot of fun, and uh, I'm excited to do a new show today. I got another badass guest, but uh, real quick before I get to that, don't forget to follow us everywhere, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all social media, really, at The Indie Rundown. It's pretty simple, but um, yeah, we're back today with a new show. This is episode two. Um, we're going to be talking about everything Avengers in-game, you know, theories, speculations, because me and my guest here, we always like to bounce back about the Avengers, and that is a former guest. He was actually on the show a long time ago, but that is former guest, actor, good friend, fellow nerd, Troy Parker in Atlanta. What's up, my brother? Good to talk What's, to you again, man. Hey, man, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Of course. It's been too long, man. I know we, we've been talking about we need to get you on the main show as well, and we're going to be doing that pretty soon as well, but it's cool Sweet. to be talking. Yeah, it's cool to be talking superhero stuff with you. So, um, so yeah, man, how you been? What's what's new real quick? Uh, speaking of superheroes, man, I was on The Gifted. It's a Marvel that's, show. That's right. I remember us giving you a yeah. shout out. You played a cop. I actually saw that. It was pretty cool. You cop guys, number one. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe they didn't give you a name, bro. <laughs> two but, lines. Best no. two lines ever. <laughs> hey, at least your beautiful face was on the screen for oh, it was, quite a bit. <laughs> it was good. It, it was not a flattering shot, but I'll take it. Yeah, man. I mean, that's actually The Gifted. Uh, surprisingly, I've never seen an episode of The Gifted. Um, I just watched that little piece that you were in. Um, but it right. looks like a cool show. You know, I'm a fan of the X-Men, but I don't know, you know, how it is with the X-Men universe, but right, that's all coming to an end anyways pretty soon. So it doesn't matter, but uh, glad you're on the show, man. It was cool seeing you. It's always cool seeing people that I know, you know, on TV shows and, and movies. You know, it really feels like, you know, uh, everybody's taking that next step. So, so yeah, it was fun, man. Yep. It was cool. And you oh, had and to I... be an explosion, too. So that was kind of cool. Or buy yeah. one. Yeah. And I shot a, uh, a national commercial, like, last week. Awesome, dude. Well, when that comes out, we'll be sure to spam the shit out of it for you. Well, so <laughs> if I make if I make the edit, <laughs> we'll oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought it, it should. Like I imagine I got paid for it, so. Oh, well, they'd be stupid not to, man. Knowing how you are, you know. But uh, I, you're a sweetheart. You're a sweetheart, sir. I try to be, man. I try to be. But anyways, man, we're here to uh, we're here to talk in game, man. Because as we all know, all the fans out there, we're two and a half months away. Uh, it's been a year long wait, but it's felt like four. Uh, honestly, man, the the anticipation for Infinity War was huge, but I feel like this is ten times bigger because of what we experienced and what the repercussions of this film could be. Like, I honestly, dude, when I talk about Endgame to anybody, my mind just starts racing because there's so many there's so many theories I have, so many ways I could see this movie going. This it's so like I I, I read an article today that. They're doing a rough cut on it right now, and they're doing test screenings. And the, and the Russo said it's still at three hours long. Um, so it looks like it's going to be around three hours, and I, I honestly think that's not enough. But, yeah, dude, what's your thoughts on the on just the overall hype of it? You know, What are you expecting, dude? How are you feeling during this year-long wait for the movie? Well, to further comment on that, they, they did do a test audience with it, and I heard that not one person got up and left for a bathroom break or anything during those, like, three hours. Wow. Wow. So people were glued to it. They were engaged, and man, I cannot, I cannot wait. And I agree with you. Endgame was a whole new experience. Yeah. And that being said, now the hype is even, the expectation is even more so now because that that totally raised the bar beyond any other like superhero <laughs> film in, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. And I agree. This and this game, or excuse me, Infinity War, but now Endgame is going to be. Oh man, I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it cannot get here soon enough, man. Um, just, see, that's what I'm dude, saying is like every dude. time you think about it, if you just you just don't know. I like me, I don't know what to say because there's so many things I could see happening. Like you know, I hear the whole theories of time travel and and multiple universes and quantum realm traveling. It's just like it, the the possibilities are endless, dude. Um, yeah, and the fact that they're so tight lipped on it, it just makes it ten times better because we've got a trailer. And a TV spot so far. Um, one, the last week we were just surprised with the other day, but we still don't know shit about the movie, man. Let me get your thoughts nope. on that, dude. What do you think about the TV spot during the Super Bowl? I like it. I like the fact that they're just basically dangling that carrot, but not telling us where the carrot's from or what they're gonna, how they're gonna prepare it, what recipe it's going into. 
Yeah. They're just like they're just like here's the carrot bitch and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, dude. Um, and, yeah, and it's not like they're giving too much away. They don't need to. I mean, we all know the we all know what this movie's going to be. It's like you don't have to tease us with too many trailers, but it's still cool to see yeah. a little bit. But still it's like I, I just I have no clue where this movie's going. I don't know what they're going to do, you know. Well, I, I think I think the general consensus and I agree with it is going to be time travel, which to me I'm, I I hate time travel storylines. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a big I think it, I think time travel is often like a crutch for poor storytelling. Mm-hmm. But I will embrace it in this if I have to just because I'm going to love it anyway, but I I really man, I would I would be even that much more pleased if the if it if they didn't go the time travel route but i i don't see how they can go any other way well the only thing that comes to mind is them tracking down thanos wherever he is and just taking the gauntlet from him there um otherwise i don't see how they're going to be able to you know do what they do what they can to stop it the only thing that comes to mind is and i was talking to this with a buddy a while back uh and i'm glad i have a platform now to share this theory is you know and i think it's a pretty common knowledge too and i'm not the only one who thought of it i think a lot of people have but with Ant-Man, you know, with Ant-Man in the quantum realm, he comes back, and that that's one of the first questions I had after the first trailer is, dude, holy shit, Ant-Man's out of the quantum realm, how the fuck did he get out, you know, so I think he's going to bring, and he had the van with him, which has the the uh, the gateway to it in there, and it's like, I think they're going to find a way to go in the tr- quantum realm, and c- maybe come out at an earlier point in time, or in an alternate reality, which I think that starts to get a little confusing, but uh, my thing is... I think the only way is they have to go back and get the stones from an earlier point in time. And it doesn't even have to be too early in time. They could just go like till right before Thanos started getting them, maybe. So it's all right. so complex, dude, with the whole time travel shit. You know, it just, it's a mind fuck, man. It makes my brain hurt. <laughs> yeah. And to hit on a, and you, and you also said another point, you know, what if they go to where Thanos is and they get the gauntlet? Well, how do we even know that the gauntlet still works? Because when you saw it last time, it was, it looked like it had been. Yeah, like it, yeah. like when, when he snapped his fingers, like it exhausted. You know, all, the gems weren't shiny anymore; they were dull, and they were. It just it looked like it was broken to me. Yeah, it, it looks so, like it was torched, dude, just burned. But he he was able to teleport away. But I guess that took a lot of energy. So, who knows? I mean, it's it, it, your guess is as good as mine. But I mean, I hope I really. I mean, like I said, I'm not a fan of time travel, and I'm really not into the whole alternate universe thing either. Yeah. Um, although I liked it in the Spider Verse, that was awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. But I don't know, man. It's just, damn, dude. You know, well, it's well. See, there was a theory going around for the longest time of uh, the Avengers are going to go back in time and revisit past events, like the the first battle, because there were some set photos, and um, I believe they were recreating the Battle of New York from the first Avengers. So I think you know the theory is they're going to go back in time to different times in the past, like other movies, I guess, and get the stones there, you know, but then it makes me wonder like, well, that's going to fuck up, you know, a lot of the stuff that we've come to, to learn in the universe itself. So like, for example, there was a theory like, oh, well, they're going to go back and get the power stone way before star Lord ever finds it in the first guardians. And it's like, well, shit, that's, that means they'll probably never come together then. So then they were saying, oh, well, they might go back in time to like pretty soon, but right before Thanos, because you remember in Infinity War, Thor's like, he stole it last week when he decimated Xandar and he took the Power Stone. Um, right, they, which they should have shown that, by the way. Yeah, I think there's a reason they didn't. I think they're going to show that. There was a theory going around recently that I read, and I actually got kind of on board with it. Like, they're going to go back in time to right before he arrives to take it and stop him. So I'm thinking, maybe that's why they didn't show it, because they're going to revisit it in the endgame. That'd be pretty fucking cool. Um, so but, so they would team up with the Zandarians or whatever? Like, I I guess, man. Um because hmm, they had a pretty they had a pretty bitchin' army, dude. Um Oh fuck yeah. I'm kinda surprised Thanos was able to straight up just go in there and murk all of them because I'm like, dude, they're the Nova Corps was pretty stacked, man. Uh, uh yeah. yeah, but Thanos' minions are pretty <laughs> fucking badass. So. Yeah, yeah, dude. Um especially Ebony Ma, man, he was probably my favorite. But he's my favorite too. Yeah, but as far as the time stone, um I guess all the stones, you know, my my thought was you know, there was another theory going around that, you know, they would make their own gauntlet because in Infinity War there was that shot on the, the dwarf planet where there's a, like a, a mold for a gauntlet. So they would go back and get the stones from a different point in time as well 
each stone. So it's like, well, how do they go back and get? And this is just if I'm not saying they're going to do this, but like, how would they go back and get all the stones? Didn't won't they really need just one, like the time stone? Because once they get the time stone, they can just reverse time before Thanos ever got it. And I guess they can make sure he doesn't get them. I don't know, but um, it's 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 crazy to think about, man. It really is the possibilities they can do, like how they're going to stop them. Are they going to keep it towards the comics to where he eventually realizes the error in his ways and he teams up with them? No. I, yeah, I don't really see that going that way either. But No, because, um, his, because his cause right now, as far as the MCU's version, which I think is actually better than the comic book version. Yeah, me too. Um, this cause actually is more, even though even though it is not the right way, but there's... There's more of a connectivity to it, if you will. There's more of a noble cause behind it. Right. It's not. It's not just his, you know, wanting this. This selfless of him wanting, you know, Lady Death to be in love with him. You know, it's, right. He's, he's he's like, you know, we're burning out the universe, so, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that shit. Yeah. No disrespect to Lady Death, but I think that would have been a little cheesy in the movies. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. It, it would. It would have been all Twilight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and we I got a, we got enough of that with four fucking movies. Yeah, we don't need more romance bullshit. Yeah, exactly. But um, but no, I mean that that's just kind of some of the theories that I've that I've come along. Do you got any theories or you know any ways that you could see this taken, like stuff that you've concocted? Man, you know, not really. Um, there's just theories that I don't want to happen, like the time travel, right? And I, I really think that there, there will be some definitely some dimensional stuff going on. Mm-hmm. But because at the end of the day. If their if, if their tactic is because there's only I can only see there's two ways they're going to do it. They have to either go back in time somehow before and stop him, and or t- take the gauntlet and use its powers if it is if it is still usable and mm-hmm. reverse and reverse what he's done. Right. Okay. I just think it's going to be I just think it's going to be awesome. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, there's there's so there's so many ways they can go with this because I was talking to this too about a buddy. Uh, I was talking this to a buddy of mine as well about. Uh, one thing they're going to have to do is find a way to get the X-Men in the fold. So I'm thinking, like, there's going to have to be something to where they alter time or reset the timeline to where they can open the door for to explain how mutants... Because, you know, we all know the mutants are coming to the MCU. So they're going to have to find a way to do that because then everybody's going to ask, like, well, where have the mutants been all these years? You know, so I think there's going to be some type of reset or new timeline or something like that. And, uh, you know, so with that being said, I think they're going to, I think a lot of it has to do with the, yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with the quantum realm. Um, but you know, before they had the rights to Mm X-Men, they've been planning this for a long fucking time. Oh yeah. So yeah. And as much as I think, you know, it's great to introduce the mutants somehow or another. I don't know that, that the Russo brothers want to just because because unless the Russo brothers are tied in to like the X Men projects in the future, mm-hmm. why would they even art you know add another facet to something that's already going to be like unf- I mean beyond anyway. I mean unless their X Men are going to be in the movie. I mean Jesus, dude, could you imagine? I highly doubt it's going to happen, but um, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, there's there's people saying, well, you know, Wolverine could show up in the post credits or Silver Surfer, and I'm like, I don't think so. If if they would have already found a Wolverine and cast a new one, we probably would know about it through leaks or something like that. I mean, that's a pretty big deal, you know. Yeah. Uh, that'd be really hard to conceal if they were doing a secret post credit scene. I don't think so just yet, but um, I was actually talking well, this about Anthony last week, and we were saying that when they do bring the X-Men in eventually, I don't think they should be so Wolverine-centric this time. You know, I just think they should focus on the core group of the X-Men, you know, and, and focus on them all. But that's a whole other conversation in itself. But um, but that's talk- marketing because Wolverine's the most popular, blah, 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 yeah. blah. Yeah. It's about, it's about money. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough to, to, you know, get over that <clears throat> Hugh Jackman. You know, it's it's going to be hard for someone to top him. But, okay. man, let's uh, let's talk Captain Marvel real quick, man. Uh, obviously, Captain Marvel comes out in a month. Uh the more and more I've seen from that, the more excited I'm getting for that movie. Uh, I was a little bit, you know, kind of like, okay, it's 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 kind of like how I felt with the Guardians when it first came out or the first Ant Man came out. Um, I was kind of like, I don't know too much about Captain Marvel, but you know, I got faith in Marvel. But well, with that being said, I'm still kind of wondering how she's gonna fit into the fold. My biggest question has always been like, 
I really hope they do a good job of explaining where the fuck's she been all these years, dude. You know, like the first Avengers, yeah. Ultron, you know, Civil War, Infinity War. It's like where, where the hell's she been all these years? So well, she was gone. Yeah, she was gone. I'm curious so, to see where she's been. If she's been kidnapped or out in space or doing something or she's been know. being in training. I think. Yeah. Well, obviously, I don't think she's been kidnapped because Fury has access to her to Pager. But um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how she. Oh, is. that's right. Oh, yeah, shit. so it's going to be interesting to see what how she... Fuck? I know, dude, and like the fact that she's supposed to show up in Endgame and have a big part in that movie, it's like, holy shit, dude. Like, I, I totally I, forgot about the whole pager thing, so Fury, yeah, he, for, he is aware of her. Yeah. So why wouldn't he have brought her in earlier? Because the thing is, so I, from what I gather, she's going to be the most powerful Avenger. Yeah, yeah, that's what, they're, that's what they're saying. So holy shit, you know, I mean, right now I think Thor's the most powerful Avenger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. But uh, then Hulk. Or maybe Doctor Strange. I mean, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, seriously, with Hulk, you just got to, if you levitate him, he, he can't do shit. So. Yeah, exactly. And that's another thing about Strange, too, is, you know, people are always saying, you know, uh, or no, not Strange, uh, Star-Lord. You know, like, oh, Star-Lord ruined everything, blah, 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 blah. He hit Thanos. It's like, no, if you, if you really pay attention, it was kind of Strange's plan. Like, he knew this was going to happen because this was that one he had to let it happen because they needed that to happen for them to get where they are. And it was all yeah. part of the storyline. So it was like, give star Lord some, you know, ease up on him, <laughs> cut him some slack, man. Uh, strange knew so. strange could have stopped him, but, uh, yeah. 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 It's like, Oh man, for, for strange to give up the stone. Like he did. It's like, okay. You know, he knows this is the only fucking way, man. It's the only way. So man, I'm just, uh, you know, like I said, it, it hurts my head to think about, but uh, the expectations are, are hugely high. Um, what about Captain Marvel, man? How are you feeling about that movie? I'm feeling good about it. Yeah. yeah. At first, I was I was a little taken aback by the casting. I was like, I wasn't really fully on board. Mm-hmm. And then the more as I see trailers coming out and uh, some more backstory on, on you know how she's a on her, how she's prepared for the role and all the training and. Mm-hmm. I, I I dig it, man. I think I think she's gonna I think she's gonna be good. And I've heard that uh, from some people who've already seen. Supposedly, some people have already seen it and said it was good. Was that not the, the oh, word on the streets? I mean, I, that's what I supposedly heard. I haven't heard anything from test screenings or anything like that. But, okay, uh, that's cool. That's that's optimistic for me, man. I'm uh, yeah. You know, I, I'm I'm curious to see how they play the whole '90s storyline into it, like why it takes place so long. And then, like you said, if it takes place in the '90s then technically she's been gone for 20 plus years. So it's like, holy shit, dude. I, know I mean, the been... Marvel... Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, like, I know you've been doing maybe training and stuff, but, you know, for to be gone for that long, 20 plus years, that's a long time. Maybe she was doing some other shit in the universe, dude. I mean, we're just a tiny speck in the universe, but... <laughs> yeah, dude. But what were you going mean... to say before that? Well, the Marvel movies have gotten consistently better and better and better, with the exception, I think of the second guardians i don't think it was as good as the first oh yeah no but no. but consistently for the most part like the new i mean shit each time the avengers come out it's better um the last thor movie was better than the first two you know doctor strange mm-hmm. coming on board was awesome yeah um they're just the movies that they just, it's just getting better um i think they really understand what's going on and I got I got nothing but faith. I think it's going to be a solid ten, dude. I'm I'm just jacked for this movie. I don't think well, I could be. I don't think I can make it too hype. I don't think I, my expectations can be too great. I, I think it's going to be awesome. Well, it's like I don't I don't think uh, you know my expectations are through the roof, man. But honestly, I really and this just might be me be me sounding like an uh, overly optimistic fan, but I don't really think I'm going to be let down by this dude because just no exactly. track history. And <laughs> exactly, dude. It's like some movies like, okay, let's, let's talk Star Wars real quick. Episode nine. I, it's no secret. I hated the last Jedi. So I hated solo. So it's like my expectations yeah. for, for episode nine are, are kind of low right now until I see a trailer or something like that. You know, it's just, just kind of like, I don't like what y'all did with the last one. And, and the one after that, it, you know, and um, I don't like some of the other stuff y'all have done right now. So, Y'all are kind of in the doghouse right now uh, with me, yeah. and I don't really have the highest of expectations for episode nine. But with this, it's just like, dude, there's no t- way this is going to be a bad movie. Okay, well, there's there's one way it could be a bad movie for me. Only one way. And that's if they bring every fucking superhero back somehow. There yeah. has to be there yeah. has to be a consequence. There has to be there has to be some finality 
with some of these superheroes from this from this is a massive event um and i know if they you know, reverse the snap then obviously the ones who were snapped out should be able to come back blah 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 but yeah. there were those there were those heroes that were killed before, prior to the snap Yep. that you know i mean yep if, if they if they find a way to make it happy go lucky oh look everyone's alive then it's just going to be like dude that's I, I, I'm not going to like it as much. It'll it'll be like a it it it'll, it would make a a perfect ten to a to a nine for me probably. No, that makes a lot of sense, man. Because you know you're right, man. You got to have stakes, but and you know obviously the the massive buzz has been oh Captain America's going to die, he's going to die, he's going to die, he's going to die. You know that's obviously pretty much a foregone conclusion. I could see it happening, but I do have a theory. Um, and you know I, I've seen other people come up with this theory too, and it, it is plausible in a way. I think it would be a good send-off for him as well. Um, and I talked about this in my rankings, but uh, I don't think Cap's... My theory is I don't think Cap's going to die. I think since it involves time travel, I think he's going to find a way to get back to the 30s and 40s and... and stay there. Stay, stay there. there with Peggy and, and grow old with her and uh, sacrifice his future. You know, and if you think about it, man, it's it's a good send-off, you know, because they've been teasing the storyline for so many years now, and it's like they're all, they've always talked about the date... And uh, he didn't get to, you know, dance with her, and he watched yeah. her die in front, or as an old lady. And yeah. I don't know, man. It's I know that that theory holds a little bit of water with other fans and stuff. I've seen it on Reddit and you know uh, a couple of other sites, but you know. And then there's also the thing of the Cap sacrificing himself and literally dying um, in a big battle. And me personally, I think the going back in time and staying with her is a little bit better, just because it's a Agreed. fitting, yeah, it's a fitting arc to his character, you know, with that yeah. dance and. That's his love and stuff like that, but um, yeah. As far as some other Avengers, I could I could see some others dying. Um, it's just, it's just hard to tell right now. Like I, I I hate to say this, but I don't think Iron Man's gonna die either. I see him because they've teased it so much. It's like why would they tease it and then not do it? I see him retiring, having a kid with Pepper, getting married, and stepping away. Um, but that's just what I see because people have said you know. Either Cap or Iron Man's gonna die, and it's like, what if they don't die? As long it, it, that's fine, but kill some others. You know, like you said, I, there's got to be casualties. Well, like I could see, I like your uh, your your thought process on Cap staying back in time. Like I could imagine them. Yeah. You know, here's the scene. You see, they 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 go back in time to, to do what they you know they, they they complete their mission to get whatever's done, mm -hmm. and then there's like you know then there's this either this quantum tunnel that they're going back to, and Cap simply just stands there and. Hands his shield over to oh wow to yeah. and hands and hands his shield over to Bucky and he's like, you know, I'm gonna stay. I need to stay here, bro. Or or, or hands it over to Falcon because in the comics both of those guys take up the mantle. Yeah, you know, so they could be like he could you know he could totally do his love thing and I I could totally dig that. Um, Shit, but I what think if, what if Bucky went back too? That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, and that, but those guys have basically been robbed of their life. Right, right. They're especially Bucky. Jesus. That's kind of but, why, like, uh, I, I kind of expect them to do that. I know that's, like, building up my own fan theory of what I want to happen, but it's, like, I think that'd be a missed opportunity if they don't do that. I think that's a, that'd be a good, like I said, it'd be a good end to his arc, you know. It'd be a good send-off for Cap, and it would be a great transition for Bucky to take up as Captain America. Yeah, yeah, I agree, man. Because that would be awesome. I'm not a fan of Falcon taking up the mantle. Yeah, um, not so much. I, I agree with you there. But uh, I, I think I think someone big is going to die. Well, it raises the question, uh, is Thor going to bite the dust? Um, no. I don't think the Hulk's going to die. Uh, I don't think they're done with the Hulk. Uh, I think they're... Well, the Hulk can't die, so... <laughs> That's true, dude. If he can't kill himself, man, how else is he going to die? Uh, well, in the comics, he can't die either. I mean, he's he's been literally, like, chewed down to, the like, a bacterial level, to a microscopic level, and regenerates. He's, his regeneration skill is, 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 is through the fucking roof. Yeah, and there's also some rumors going around that he might turn into Professor Hulk in this one. I can um, see it. Yeah, which would really, really be cool. But um, you know, uh, I think I think Iron Man could die, dude. In all honesty. Yeah, I could see it. Honestly, I mean, I could still see him sacrificing something or or dying, and I could still see Pepper being pregnant. You know, uh, maybe that's his last gift to her or something. Who knows? Um, Cause think about it. This is their uh, the the ten year anniversary. Yeah. Of MCU. Iron Man started the whole fucking thing off. This is Endgame. This is huge. This is super, super, super fucking personal to him. Yeah. And I could see him making a mistake, getting too emotional over something, 
and getting fucking destroyed. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I mean, I, I thought we had it in the in Infinity War when Thanos stabbed him. I thought, oh, sh- this is it. This is it. I was I was ready for it. I mean, I love I love the Iron Man character. Yeah. Um, I hated Iron Man three, but I love the Iron Man character, and I think they've done a great job. I think Robert Downey Jr. is the ultimate actor for that role. Mm-hmm. And but I think it would it would just be like a holy shit moment, kind of like kind of like Red Wedding was with Game of Thrones, you know? Oh God, you got to drag that out. Yeah, I'm which is also trying. coming in April. What's up? That's what I'm saying, dude. When April and Stranger Things is in April. Oh my I'm God, telling so you, dude. Awesome April month. is going to be the months of all months. Uh, it's it's going to be hard for me to keep my blood pressure up during the month of April. I'm going to um, have to buy some more lotion and Kleenex for that month. Holy dude, shit. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. Think about it, bro. Like, in April, there's going to be a week in time where a Sunday, we're going to get Game of Thrones. That Thursday, Avengers comes out. That next Sunday, a new episode of Game of Thrones. It's like, dude. And Stranger Things. Are, are you? Too. Yeah. It's like, are you kidding me? Holy shit, man. Dude, I can't wait. I, can't like, wait. I just want to kind of fast forward through February and March real quick, you know. But at the same time, man, I, I will be kind of... I just... I just hope they do. I, I just hope they do, they do it right. You not do, not necessarily do it right. I just hope it's it's worth it. You know all these theories about yeah. Cap and Tony. You know I, I'm pretty sure well, their contracts sure, are done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Feige and the Russos found a way to give them great send off. So I'm not really. Yeah, I have my own thoughts about what could happen, but I'm sure whatever they ultimately give us, I'm sure I'll be happy, man. I'm sure we all will. Um, well, I, I think the I think it, it's the it's time to you know. Change the baton out, if you will. Yeah, and it is. Because it is. I think also Marvel's going to start dabbling with the Eternals a little yeah, bit. Yeah, man. Um, they're saying that one of the there's supposed to be two movies next year. Uh, one's supposed to be Black Widow, which I've always wanted to see a movie on her. And they're saying it could be potentially be R-rated. So I'm like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I could give or take with her. Yeah. I mean. It just it's, it's, That's just going to be like a born identity, basically. It's just going to be a spy thing. Yeah. this I think this movie's a little... Uh, five to six years too late. I think they should have hit this movie pretty early on in the yeah. process. Um, but, uh, and they're saying the one of the big movies next year could be The Eternals. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. This is this is what I want to see right here. Yeah. And know, that's why, and that's why I think that they're not going to get rid of Thor because Thor will tie in more, yeah. out of all the heroes, out of all the Avengers currently, Thor would be the one most likely to make that connection as far as an introduction and or a way to segue into the Eternals in some form or fashion, either him or Doctor Strange. Yeah, and it, um, ma- it makes you think, like, where do we go from here? Well, because we, I heard Doctor Strange 2 is getting in development. We're still yeah. going to get a Black Panther 2, Spider-Man 2, and a, a third one after that. Uh, they just said, came out and said, uh, I think a week or so ago, that Guardians 3 is going to happen. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're going to start getting to all the more cosmic stuff, which is cool, you yeah. know, but... Uh, it, it makes you wonder, like, um, you know, when are the Fantastic Four going to come in? When's the Silver Surfer going to come in? Galactus well, Captain Marvel. And... Captain Marvel's cosmic all, all day. Yeah, man. Yeah, so... yeah, yeah. I did hear something that they're trying to make her, not trying to make her, but they kind of want to shift focus to her being, like, the core of the MCU. Kind of like passing the baton, like Captain was, you know, all these mm-hmm. years. And I think yeah. it might shift over to Captain Marvel, which is cool. You know, I'm not, I'm not opposed to that, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. I think we're in for some incredible years with the MCU after Endgame. Yeah, I could see the Avengers. Here's here's my like my dream team if, with the so-called baton metaphor we're using. Mm-hmm. It'd be it'd be Bucky as Cap. So okay. you got so you got yeah. you know he's got this, this the the metal arm and the shield working. It'd be badass. Yeah. You still got the Hulk. You still got and you got Doctor Strange as an Avenger now, and you have Thor still. Hmm. Um. But you, you you lose, I hate to say it, but you lose Black Widow and you lose fucking Hawkeye, and you lose Iron Man, and Pan, uh, Black Panther can be in there still. Yeah. Because of all the Wakanda, you know, the tech and shit. Yeah. But they're definitely got a. I think I think they're they're just they're, they're the world is the world is opening up so yeah. much bigger now. So, oh my or, or, god. Or, or the universe that is not the world, but the whole. Yeah. The spectrum. So to speak, because but, you I know, mean, if if it makes money, they'll make it. So of of course, dude. And you still got, like I said, Eternity still out there, the Living Tribunal still out there. Mm-hmm, you know, like I said, mm-hmm. Galactus and all that, and even Kang the Conqueror is still out there. So are they going to oh, touch yeah. upon him one day? So, oh yeah. I mean, but just, Fantastic Four. 
If they oh, do it right. My. If they do it right. If they do it right, give Doctor Doom what he fucking deserves. Exactly, dude. Exactly. Don't make him. Oh, he did it. That is, I almost walked out of that movie, dude. They they did such a bad, shitty job with that movie. It was oh, the, the newest one. Yes. Oh yeah, that was terrible. Um. Yeah, me and Anthony were actually talking about that last week, dude. Uh, God, about the Fantastic dude, so Four. Bad. Yeah, we we were talking about the Fantastic Four, and um, I have the old. I have the utmost faith in. Kevin Feige and whoever ends up working on those movies to find the right actors for that role and to find the right story um, and to build them up the way we want to see them built up. You know, the Fantastic Four and the X-Men. Um, Deadpool's another thing because honestly, call me crazy, but I think Ryan Reynolds should come over as Deadpool. That should be the only one that comes over. Agreed. Uh, um, which, I dude, did you hear they are saying the other day, like, uh, or I think it was today or the other day, like Marvel's going to keep, they said, yeah, we're going to, we'll keep doing R-rated movies. So it's like, Shit! If Deadpool comes to the MCU, imagine, imagine that dude. You know, with like, yeah, yeah. we could we could finally have that crossover, like in the comics. You know, Deadpool and Spider Man and all these other ones. It's like, you know, this oh, be badass. Yeah. <laughs> Opportunities are endless, but yeah. But really, I even want, I even want like them to do, even though it's already been kind of done because of the whole Aquaman thing. But I'd like them to do a Prince Namor. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? Me too. Me too. It's because funny that you say that because I actually said that in our rankings when I talked about Black Panther. I said, you know, I was a little disappointed with Killmonger being a one and done villain. Um, I think they should have. I don't know. I think they should have held on to that a little bit. Uh, well, supposedly he's coming back in Black Panther too. I somehow s- I saw that. I saw that. But but it's funny because I made a comment at the end of that at the end of my little summary. I was like, well, hey, you know, hopefully we can get Namor now. So that might be cool. But because uh, yeah, Namor yeah. is the first the first mutant in the Marvel whatever. The, Whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, he's not the first mutant in the in the storyline because the storyline is who's the who was the villain in that X Men movie? The oldest mutant, whatever. The first mutant. Oh, Apocalypse. Yeah, Apocalypse. Yeah, Apocalypse. Yeah. But Namor was the first mutant, or as far as the uh, comics that they that they that they published. Yeah, not a lot of people know about so, him too. So it'd be cool to yeah. to see him do that. And then and then with Spider Man, dude. You know, I hear at some point. I don't know if it's going to be in Far From Home. Uh, I did hear a rumor that Far From Home they might allude to Norman Osborn in some way, but you still have him and the Sinister Six still out there, and it's just like, dude, there's just so many, there's so much stuff still out there. You know, I feel like the MCU is just climbing the steps, man. It's only going to get bigger and bigger. Yeah, but they've they've already done the Norman Osborn. They've already done, you know, Doc Ock. They've already done that shit. I'd rather them like, I know, I know that Spidey has his. If if they stay true to canon, Spidey has a certain set of villains. He's he's always fighting, but yeah, fuck it, man. Let's 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 mix it up some. Let's not. I'm I'm so tired of remakes. I'm so tired of them. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, it just it just bore, there's so much more content that 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 we can do. Well, no, it's good. It's good. I love that the MCU's been doing that because in the in Homecoming we got the Vulture. We'd never had him before, and now we're getting one of my favorite Spider-Man villains, Mysterio. So it's like, yes, you keep doing the new yeah, villains. Yeah, you know, yeah, exa- exactly, exactly, exactly. keep it up, man. Um, yeah, but yeah, man, you're totally right, dude. With the whole cosmic thing, there's just there's so many avenues to go down from this point. You know, especially seeing what happens after Endgame, how the universe is, and what doors are going to open. It's just mind-boggling, man. I mean, shit, dude. With with Silver Surfer, Adam Warlock. That's he's still out. That's right, dude. I forgot I mean, about him. Those are two huge players in the Infinity Gauntlet. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as the comic goes, but still, just by themselves, I mean, it's such a, it's such a, they have such fascinating story arcs as well. So yeah. Speaking of which, Silver, Silver Surfer, I love that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I hated, I hated the Fantastic Four movie. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, do we think Nebula is going to die in this? I, you know what? I think Nebula could actually become an Avenger. You think so? Or a Guardian. I probably more that. so. Probably more so a Guardian. She's done a really good face turn for me. Um, I, I like what they've done with her character. You know, she was extremely evil, and now she's 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 kind of on the good side. And man, and that new Super Bowl spot, dude, I love that shot of her and Tony fixing the. Uh, Whatever they're on, I think they're on the ship. But that's like straight out of Iron Man One, man. That was that was that was a cool shot, dude. So, but think of, think about it. Is she truly evil? No, dude. She's she has been tormented and twisted, and yeah, she's yeah. she's the ultimate victim. Yeah, in all, in all honesty. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. She is, man. And I actually, I feel bad for her, man. In that scene in Infinity War, where you, where you straight up torturing her like that, it's like fuck, dude. I'm at, you know, knowing what she's <laughs> yeah. gone through. 
Yeah. It's brutal. So I kind of hope she gets a little redemption in the end. Um, a lot of people are going around saying, you know, is Thanos going to die? Who's going to be the one to kill him? Is he going to retire and be a farmer? And it's like, well, he's already kind of be in the farmer role. So I think he's going to get killed. I think it's going to build up to a big showdown. Like yeah. I said, I kind of hope they don't go the route where he realizes his errors and, well, let me join you. It's like, well, who are you going to oh, join fuck him that. against? Fuck. Because no. God, yeah, there's, no. there's no, no other threat. So No, we, it's... They better not make it a fucking feel good. Like, oh, hey, I'm, a, I was wrong. No, I'll snap my own finger and bring everybody back. Yeah, I don't. You know, I, I let's, highly let's, doubt they're gonna go that route, it's, dude. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, I think they're gonna. <clears throat> I think it's gonna be a showdown. I think they're gonna. You know, because I, I heard a rumor a while back. It's all these fucking rumors, but I heard one a while back that apparently there's one scene where there's like countless amounts of superheroes fighting Thanos. So it's like I think there's gonna be a big final showdown. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, so. I, I, I think so too. And as far as like uh, you know talking about people not coming back, I, I wonder if uh, Dr- the character Drax will come back for another Guardians. I don't know. I mean, mm, yeah. I, I mean, I know that James Gunn is now actually not a part of Marvel anymore, and, and you know what he's you know what he's yep. going to direct, right? I saw that the, ne- the other day with the next Suicide Squad, right? Well, yeah. And now they're saying the uh, now they're saying it's going to be a reboot. I'm like, what? A reboot of Suicide Squad? That's allegedly. Like, there's rumors that people think it might be a reboot altogether, and I'm like, dude, <sighs> no, so man. All that shit. I don't think James would do that. I don't either, man. So I'm hoping it's not true. It's like make it a sequel, make it better. You know, you don't. You just came out with this movie three years ago. You don't need to reboot this. You're already in deep water. You know. Um, yeah. But that being said, whenever all that shit went down, yeah, uh, Dave Bautista was a huge fan. And fighting for James Gunn big time, yes, and he wasn't gonna do another Guardians if James wasn't the the director. Yeah, and I don't know how 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 heated or how the depth of that you know exchange of that dialogue was with between him and Disney, but I, I he's he's more on on many occasions that he you know, I don't think he's interested in doing it anymore. Yeah, it's so, a shame too because I I love his I, at times I do think Drax is a little bit too funny, but I, I still love his portrayal. Um, oh, he's great, dude. Yeah, but at dude. the end of the day. As far as a hero goes, I mean, he's he's basically just another. He's just a bruiser, you know. He doesn't, he doesn't have any quote unquote powers per se. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, for but, sure, man. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like what's his face. Um, ah, uh, shit. Who am I thinking of? That one guy. His name will come to me. But um, yeah, dude. Speaking of the Guardians, you know, it's like where, where's that franchise gonna go? Because uh is Gamora going to come back? I mean, I'm sure the snapped ones are, you know, Groot and Star-Lord, but... Uh, I think she will, and I, and I hope she doesn't, but I think she will. Now, because do, do she s- plays such an emotional... She, she, she allows you to tie into that emotional side of Thanos. Right, right. And maybe... Because uh, rumor has it she's trapped, that she's not dead, she's trapped in the soul gym. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. You know, so... Yeah. Like I said, I I hope that there's consequence. I hope some people are dead. Mm-hmm. But if it, I could see I could see her coming back because she's a big character. The only ones I really see staying dead from from the beginning of the movie, um, Heimdall for sure. I don't really think Heimdall's going to come back. Uh, Loki, Agreed. it's hard to tell with Loki right now, man. Um, I think Loki could get his own movie. Yeah, and they're also saying they're they're trying to do a TV show with him too for the new Disney streaming service. That's supposed to come out this year. And there's also supposed to be one on Vision and Scarlet Witch, I believe. Which, I actually spoke about that in my rankings that I did on the show. That I kind of wish I would have got a little more backstory with Vision and Wanda. Um, because I really liked I really liked their uh, their chemistry and, and their character relationship Agreed. in Infinity War. So I kind of wanted yeah, them to yeah. touch upon that a little more. Like, you know, uh, we kind of went really just went from Civil War from them still kind of meeting each other to... Bam! Infinity War. They're all of a sudden like in love. So it's like I kind of yeah. want to see the in between a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. Fuck, no, fucking, it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. Fucking Vision. Does Vision come back? I mean, he he dude dude died twice, man. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Because you remember what he said. You know, if we take out the stone, there's still a little bit of Vision left. But the way he took out the stone, that's was, that's was pretty brutal. So who knows, man? Um. Like I and, said, I, dude, and I don't like the fact that Scarlet Witch could destroy it, a stone. But and you what? I don't like that. I don't like that she was able to destroy one of the Infinity Stones. Yeah, that was a little too. Uh, you They're know. supposed to be indestructible, like all all power. I know that her power is granted from the Infinity Stone, so therefore, yeah, her 
her frequency can like do something, whatever the fuck. I just don't, I don't, I don't like. The Infinity Stones are like the the end all of all things. I think. Right, right. And they should not be able to be destroyed by anything less than something so fucking major. Now she is a badass dude. And she's only just barely tapping into her power. She's super mm. powerful. Yeah, I think she'll be back, and I'll think they'll do more with her down the road. Um, but no, it, it's kind of funny because when I first saw the movie Infinity War, uh, after she destroys it, I, I was I had a little water in my eyes. It was a pretty powerful sequence, but after she blows it up, Thanos says what he says, and then he starts walking towards, and that's when it hit me. Like Some people it hit a lot earlier on, but it took me a little bit to realize, like, oh, shit, he has the time stone. He's just going to yep. reverse it. Yep. Other people were saying, like, well, they knew all along he was going to reverse it. But me, it's like, I didn't even think of fucking think about that until afterwards. Like, oh, shit, yeah, yeah he's just going to reverse it, dude. So, yeah, it was brutal. It was fucking Oh, yeah, and he, just, and he just rips it out of his head. Was, oh, my badass. God, dude. I remember there was a kid in a screening that I went to. There was, like, two kids with their mom on the right of us. And right when he did that, how his head punches in, the kid, like, looked away and kind of screamed. And I was like, <laughs> fuck, dude. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, and the way he just holds him and throws him, dude, like a sack of garbage, man. Yeah, it was brutal. So I, I, I expect more brutality like that in this in Endgame as well. Um, so yeah, dude, it's 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 gonna be crazy, man. We all know it, and I'm sure uh, when we get closer to the release of the movie, more trailers and more art and more stuff will come out by then. So I'll probably do another show where we talk about it. You never know what kind of theories could pop up you know, before then. So yeah, yeah man, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm so ready. Jeez. I'm I've just been, so ready, dude. I've been ready since I walked out of infinity war, <laughs> you know? So I can't believe it's almost yeah. here, man. So everyone's got to protect themselves to make sure nobody, <laughs> nobody dies before April 26. So yeah. we can enjoy this movie. Um, Fuck yeah, dude, I'll live in a bubble if I have to for two months, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, man, uh, I wanted to move on to uh, a new segment that, I started doing last week on the show. It's a uh, it's a special segment called Comic Book Throwback, and in this segment, we're going to each week with every new guest, we're going to highlight a specific comic book storyline or comic or graphic novel, you know, that we could talk about, give our thoughts on, and you know, show the world if they don't know about it, you know. Um, cool. Which I cool. think everybody knows about the one we're going to talk about, and that is 1991's Infinity Gauntlet by Jim Starlin. Uh, Yep. It was first released as a serialized six-issue limited series from July to December 1991. Um, it had two direct sequels, Infinity War and Infinity Crusade, and it had one prequel, Thanos Quest. But we're just going to talk about Infinity Gauntlet because this could be a four-hour conversation. But yeah, man, yeah. Um, this is definitely one of my all-time favorites. I actually read it in its entirety. Uh, I think it was about a few weeks before Infinity War came out last year. And um, Let me get your thoughts I on it, man. I've read it too, but it's been many, many, many years um, since I've read it. But it was a great story. Um, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm pleased that the MCU took their own spin on the adaptation of, of why th of the motivation for Thanos to do what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it just it just adds so much more. I think just it just it just makes it better. It's just way better than the whole silly love thing. Yeah, and um, the in the placement of heroes too, it's it's a lot different in the comics because you have you know Silver Surfer and Adam Warlock and well, you got everybody, you got Wolverine's <laughs> in there. I mean, everybody's in. There, so. Yeah, and I think it, I think it's it's cool the way the movies lined it up because I think if they would have done this in the movies, it would have been a little bit too convoluted. But uh, um, yeah, the 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 comic book has its own story. It's it's amazing, and the movie has its own. It's amazing too. But um, no, I remember reading the Infinity Gauntlet when I was a kid and just being enamored with it because. I was always drawn to, holy shit, what would happen if someone just snapped their fingers and everybody disappeared across the, the universe, you know, without reason. It's just, it was an always, it was always an entertaining aspect and to see all your favorite superheroes, not all of them, but half of them right. get snapped away. Like, holy shit, where do they go from here? So the story that they go on afterwards, you know, which heavily involves Nebula, unlike mm -hmm. the, unlike the movies. Well, so far yep. we don't, we don't know what happens with Nebula in the game, but yeah, man, just the story they go on, dude, and uh, the way they reverse everything. Like we said before, I don't think it's going to be the exact same way in the in the movies, but uh, you know, still the the way they did in the comics was still just fucking awesome, dude. So. Oh yeah, it was, it was an amazing story. That's why that's why they're making a movie about it. I mean. Yeah, and it, even it, even the prequel, it is, it is just deserved. So. 
Yeah, and even the prequel, the Thanos quest, dude, that was really good too. I read that last year as well before Infinity War. Um, and he gets the stones a much different way in, in the comics mm-hmm. from, yep. from all these different people that aren't really known in the, in the movies. You know, there's, I think there was the, the collector was the only one that I think that's been shown in the movies uh, and the Grandmaster too. But um, yeah, that was good too. And, you know, Jim Starlin just created something extremely special, man. And it's, it's a, it's a storyline that I'm going to visit, you know, from time to time. But, um, you know, and then you had the character of Mephesto in there. Uh, he mm. was, he was pretty cool, man. I, I wouldn't mind seeing him in the fold somehow. I don't know how they would do him in the movies, but it'd be, be pretty cool to see him in the, in the movies. And then, of course, mm. Lady Death, which Lady Death would be a little weird, like we talked about, but, you know. Um, I don't think we'll see a Lady Death at all. Yeah, I don't either. People were saying, well, Hella might come back and be Lady Death. It's like, no, she's she's done. She's I done. think Hella's done. She's done. Yeah. I don't like that Hella was a one-off villain, but, you know, it is what it is. I've, I've said that many times about some of the villains like Ultron and Hella and Killmonger. I think those are villains, you know, you could have built up a little better and lasted well, a little longer. Well, on that note, I mean, World War Hulk. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they kind of took they kind of took his storyline for Ragnarok. You know, they can't really tell his story mm-hmm. because that's the fucking. I mean, there's many elements of that in Ragnarok. Yeah, you know, pretty much, dude. Pretty much. So they they, they, com- they combined some shit there, which yeah. I get I get it, but it was a chance to really have like a a solid Hulk movie because there really hasn't been a good Hulk movie yet I think in my opinion no no they've been, me they've been entertaining but they haven't been good Hulk movies it's funny yeah it's funny because I, in my rankings that I did I kept bitching at Universal there's a couple times that I brought up Universal and I was like just give us the damn rice back already please yeah you know yeah. but um, but yeah no all, all in all Infinity Gauntlet's a badass storyline man I highly recommend it if people haven't read it uh, oh hell yeah Oh, yeah, Silver so Surf- relevant too. Yeah, dude, Silver Surfer is so great in it. Adam Warlock mm-hmm. is great in it. Um, I, I can't wait to see what they do with him in the MCU. But, um, but yeah, man, uh, the sequels too. You know, we could talk about the sequels another time. You know, the Infinity War and the Infinity Crusade. You know, it gets really deep. But um, like I said, those are those are a whole another conversation in itself. But yeah, Infinity Gauntlet, check it out, man. It's it, it's a good comic. Um, and uh, you know, we'll highlight more down the road. But um, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, let me move on to the last bit of this show, dude. Uh, well, hold on. Oh, what's up? What's Silver Surfer's real name? Uh, n- sh- Norn Rad. Very good. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Car- yeah. Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to. Th- it's it's been a while since I've talked about Surfer, so I had to think. Like, yeah, Norn Rad. That's right. That's right. And who uh, created him? Oh my God! You had to ask me that. I'm blanking on that one. I'm blanking on that one. Who was it? Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby, thank you, thank you. He first appeared in comic book Fantastic Four number 48, 1966. There you go, man. Yeah. You know you're Fantastic Four, dude. What, do you, what did you no, think about the Silver Surfer? I'm looking that? at I look it up on Google right now. Here you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. No, but uh, yeah, but I knew Nor- I knew Norn Rad, and I knew he first appeared in, in a, a Fantastic Four. And I knew Jack Kirby created yeah. him, but I just didn't know the dates or the ep- or the issue. I don't know why I blanked on Jack Kirby, dude. I feel like a like a fraud right now. But yeah, um, you shouldn't even be doing this show. You suck. I'm telling you, man. It's <laughs> it's 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 heresy, dude. Um, it's it's uh, but no, like, what do you think of the Silver Surfer movie? I don't think I ever asked you about that. Uh, I know Galactic was god awful, just egregious, but the Surfer I hated, himself. I, I hated Galactus, and the, I didn't really like the Surf. I didn't like the Surfer himself because he. There's more to him than what they. They they just made him very one dimensional, in my opinion. Yeah, man, I don't even call that Galactus, dude. That was just fucked no, up. That dude. was not. Yeah, that was that was that was weak. Yeah, that was that was such a cop out, dude. They fucked up Galactus. They fucked up Doom. I mean, oh. do, dude, Doctor Doom is, from what I understand, one of one of Stanley's favorite characters. Yeah, it's it's a shame he didn't get to see him done right. Yeah, I yeah. hate that. So that you know, that's more pressure on Feige. But, but I mean, not pressure, but I think Feige and and the crew over there at Marvel will. I hopefully think they'll get them right this time. So, I'll tell you what, if, if they did, if they did a Doctor Doom origin story movie, that would be bad. That would yeah, be badass. Would. Yeah, it would. And I don't know why they don't do some some villain some villain movies like origin. Yeah, yeah, yeah like solo movies. Yeah, I yeah, mean, that could be kind of cool. 
I mean, I think because there's definitely some people out there's definitely some characters out there that could really make it awesome, dude. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. Yeah. The Doom's one of them, like you said, man. I'd fucking pay a lot of money to see a Doom movie. Dude, do, do it right, you know? Yeah. Dr. Doom. Yeah, I feel you, man. Well, let's move on to this last part of the show, dude. Uh, it's, gonna, cool. it's, something, it's something I'm going to do on every show. Uh, I'm always going to close out the show with a 10-question trivia quiz related oh, to geez. the subject material. So I got a quiz for you, and it's all questions from the MCU movies, the Avengers movies, not all the MCU movies. Um, okay. And, uh, well, there's one in here from up. Thor Ragnarok. But they're mostly from the Avengers movies, so some right are on, easy. Right on. I'll up? do my best. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll we'll take note, <laughs> but uh, we'll see we'll see what happens, man. Um, like I said, some are easy, some are hard, but you know we'll see. Cool. All right, here we go. First question: What is the name of Thanos' home world in Infinity War? It's Titan. There you go. Yeah, I see. That was too fucking easy for you. Uh, question number two: What is Agent Coulson's first name? Uh, his name is Robert Paulson. Are you sure about that? No, that's the that's a quote from Fight Club. Uh, let me oh, see. okay. Uh, I, oh, I'm not a big. It's a uh, Coulson. Coulson. It's a. Uh, is it James? No. Fuck John. It's Phil. Oh fuck yes, yeah, Phil. <laughs> Phil. It's from the first Damn. Avengers movie. Yeah, his name yeah, is yeah. Phil. No, his name is Agent. Yeah, love, love that's right. Yeah. That's right. All right, cool. Let's move on to question three. Damn it. Uh, I know, man. I know. Question three, what do the Avengers refer to as Black Widow's ability to calm the Hulk back into Bruce Banner? What is the code name? Lullaby? There you go. Lullaby. Which I thought that was the stupidest forced romance ever. Um, hmm. Question four, in Thor Ragnarok and also the first Avengers movie, what is Thor's nickname and code name on the Avengers Quinjet? And also <laughs> the nickname given to him by Tony Stark. Oh, it's a uh, point break. Point break. I love that scene when he tries to log in. He's like, it's yeah, strongest, Avenger. most strongest Avenger. <laughs> and then, and then, fucking Banner does it. Yeah. yeah. Welcome, strongest Avenger. He's like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking great, dude. Yeah. It's fun. It's funny, real quick, dude. On a side note, in my rankings, man, I think uh, Thor Ragnarok was the only movie that, and I make mention of it too when I talked about it, and I. I'll be honest with you, I didn't like that movie when I first saw it. I hated it because the overuse of comedy, but the more I watched Agreed. it. Agreed. Agreed. The more I watched it, and the, I, I love that movie, man. Yeah, I love it now. You know, we, we talked about this when it came out. Yeah. And I was, like, and I was like, dude, is it necessary? Because he, he literally starts the movie in, in a humorous posture when he's going up against a fucking yeah. homeboy. Yeah. Uh, what's Surter. Surter. Surter, yeah. You know? But man. And I was just like, really? Every every chance he had, he had he, he fit into some quirky jokes, man. And I was like, oh man, this is it was such a shift from Thor. Yeah. From the previous movies, you know. Yeah. Um, but I dig it. I dig it now. No, oh, I love it, dude. I love it, so. man. Cor Korg is my man, dude. I love Korg. Yeah. Um, but anyways, all right, let's get back to track. Uh, question five. Before Heimdall dies, he sends the Hulk to Doctor Strange's Sanctorum. In the comics, Silver Surfer was the one who was sent. Who sent him? Wait, I thought you said these are going to be all MCU questions. That is not an MCU question. You're right. My bad. Basically, in the comics, who sends Silver Surfer to the Sanctorum? Uh, Jesus, dude. Um, Adam Warlock. I've there you go. There you go. Is he, am I right? You got it. Adam, yeah, Warlock? Adam Warlock. Yep. Nice. Okay, cool. Question six. What famous actor voiced Ultron? Oh, that's James Spader. Yeah, that was too easy. Hell of a performance, by the way. I hated the way yeah. Ultron was used, but he did good. Agreed. Question seven. In the first Avengers movie, what city did Black Widow find Bruce Banner hiding in? I want to say it was Mumbai. Nope. It was somewhere in India. It was Calcutta. Oh, that's right. Fuck. Calcutta. So I've, what, missed two so far? Yeah, you missed two so far. You're doing pretty good. What Question, was the other one I missed? Uh, the agent, Coulson's first name. Yeah, fuck that guy. Go on. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Question eight. Uh, what is the name of the dwarf planet Thor forges his new hammer Stormbreaker? That's a toughie. It's, it's actually not a planet. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't write these questions. It's. <laughs> I agree, though. I agree, though. It's Nevidalir. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. It's like it's a star, not, right? Well, the, the, the star, star itself is. Yeah, but that's not. Nevada Lear is the actual the, the the smithing 
yeah con- construct around the dying star. It's not a planet. Yeah. I don't know who wrote these questions, but they suck. Uh, question, <laughs> question nine. After Thanos snaps his fingers in Infinity War, who was the first hero to turn to dust? Hmm. Okay. Got to think about it. Think about all the poor heroes that got dusted away. Who was the first one? Yeah, I'm flashing back in my mind. Okay, I know it wasn't Black Panther. I know it's not Spidey. Mm -hmm. I know it's not... It's someone that was there, like relatively close to him, I think, Mm -hmm. in in, in Wakanda. Mm Mm-hmm. Is it a su- is it a superhero? Yeah, it yeah, is a yeah, superhero, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, fuck, is it Falcon? Nope. Is that your final is he, answer? Is he? Is, well, he's still alive, right? No, he got dusted, but he wasn't the first one to get dusted. Uh, fuck me. I, I give you. I give you one more chance. One more chance. Don't say anything. I'm not. Uh, It'll come to you. And you're gonna slap yourself when it does. Is it Scarlet Witch? No, it was Sorry. Bucky. Was Bucky. Oh, that's right, Bucky. Remember, Steve? And then he yeah. like just falls over. Yeah. Steve, I got a boner. Yeah. What? There you go. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Next. It's all good, man. Uh, last question. Should be able to get this one. Uh, question ten. What is the name of Thanos's alien army that was featured prominently in the climax of the first Avengers movie? Oh, it's the fucking. The fucking uh oh god damn it the uh <laughs> the, the it's it's not the Cree it's the uh, no no it's not the uh, I know you know it man that's the oh that's the sad dude. thing they they reference it so many times too yeah uh he has an army like Thor's talking about it he has an army <laughs> you, yeah you, you can't you can't win yeah um god damn it what is it what is it just fucking say it it's the Chitauri Chitauri yeah. All right, so you got yeah, I know one, the Chitari, two, three, dude. I knew that. I got six or seven right. Okay. You got six right, four wrong. Damn it! Which four did I miss? The Chitari, Phil, the Bucky, Bucky. getting snapped, and the Calcutta. Oh, Calcutta. That one was tough. That was a deep cut question, though. The yeah, Calcutta I got, one. I got the country right. But he does reference it in the movie. That's why it, that question's he in does? there. He so, yeah, he sells Calcutta at one point. Um, oh. I think it's later in the movie when he's like, "You dragged me back into this freak show. I was." Doing work in Calcutta or some shit, and right, right, right before he grabs the scepter. But either way, he did good, man. We all know you know your shit, dude. You don't have to prove anything. I tried. Some of those questions are deep, though. But yeah, man. Well, hey, that's uh, that's gonna do it, everybody. Um, dude, thanks for having me, bro. Of it's course, man. Thanks so much for being here and, and and chopping it up with me, man. We'll definitely do this again on another comic show, and we'll also definitely have you back on the Indie Rundown uh, main show here in a few weeks so really looking forward to that you know talking to you again with mike back in the fold and it'll be a lot of fun man um hey hey i want to do this i will fly back i will fly back to houston for the for the end game we all need to go together yeah we do i would honestly man that's something i haven't done i i i would like to go with a group at one point um you myself art comic some comic book people yeah um Dwayne Cathy, uh, Dwayne's one uh, of them. Uh, and I'm going opening night, goddammit. Marcus is one of them. Vasquez, dude. Uh, I know yeah, he'd go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we should definitely do that, man, because, you know, I got my buddy here. I got a, I have a, a personal friend, Jimmy. He's not in film or anything like that. I've known him since I was a kid. We've He's pretty much been the guy that I see all the MCU movies with, and we'll obviously see Endgame together, too, but I also want to see my buddy Jimmy, though. Hold on. He doesn't like going, like, opening nights and all that shit, so. Fuck Jimmy. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I tell him that all the time. He's like, well, I don't like going opening night. I'm like, hey, whatever. Uh, well, you know you're going to see it again. So exactly you can go opening so. night and then go with go with Jimmy So when he's done being a little bitch. I, and, yeah, and I go. think we should go opening night. Me, you, Art. I'll call Marcus. I'll see if Dwayne wants to go. I'll call up everybody. JP's in there. I think JP's in them. Um, Chad's in them. Just, uh, so many guys are comic Ooh, fans. So. God, I'm excited, bro. Oh. Yeah, I think we should get a massive group and go see Endgame. Pick a pick the best theater, comfortable seats, because it's gonna be yeah, dude. That's gonna be on y'all's part, because I live in the woodlands. I don't really know many theaters down in Houston. Dude, so. I live in Atlanta. Oh, okay, well there you go. Well, you lived in Houston for a long time. True. You know where all the good theaters are. 
but we'll find that. But yeah, no, I, I definitely I'm down for that, dude. That sounds like a badass time. I love that. The only thing I hate about opening nights is sometimes the crowds are a little bit too noisy, and it's like, hold on, I'm trying to watch the movie, guys. I'm excited too, but I think a movie like this, everyone's gonna kind of be so. They're more gonna like, be, dude. They're gonna be quiet. They're gonna be. They're gonna be watching intently. Because yeah. everyone left off. Remember how quiet it was when people started being dusted? Dude, you know what I heard it when we was left a the pin movie drop, theater? Dude, it was quiet. The, the the only thing we heard walking out of that theater was sniffles. Yeah. Sniffles was all we heard. It was just yeah, yeah you're right. You could hear a pin drop. It was crazy. But uh yeah, dude. Totally down for that. Let's plan for that. Uh opening night, dude. That'd be badass to get like a big ass oh, group, dude. Man. You know, go have a beer or two before or after. It don't fucking oh. matter, man. Um, yeah, we'll definitely keep that in the cards, but yeah, thanks again, bro, for coming on, man. Uh, well, thanks for having me, dude. We'll definitely do this again. Cause you know, I always like talking, co- talking comics with you. So we'll have you on more episodes and shit like that. But, um, Sweet. you know, like I said, you'll be on the main show too soon. So, uh, yeah, man, this was fun. Uh, we'll do it again, bro. So, all right, man. Once again, everybody follow us on real quick, man. Where can everybody find you at, dude? Let them know. You can find me on Facebook under Troy Parker. No, and, uh, Instagram on uh, Troy Parker film. Uh, I don't really do the Twitter thing, so yeah, I should. Twitter, but Twitter's kind of unless you're like super famous. Twitter's kind of useless, honestly. Yeah, I mean, no That's one, one, no thing one that cares. I've learned. No one cares what I say. I I post stupid pictures and I've I post dick <laughs> jokes. I mean, yeah, who, yeah. who cares? You know, yeah, no, yeah. Instagram's a little different. I love Instagram, but Twitter. You know, I've come to learn that unless you've got like a hundred, two hundred thousand followers, you you're really not getting to anybody. But um. But yeah, man, uh, follow us everywhere at the Indie Rundown, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We got social media everywhere. It's all one word at the Indie Rundown. But um, yeah, for Troy Parker, for myself, I'm Zach. This has been Comic Book Weekly. Adios, nerds.